You know, if God will let him, you know, I pray that he shares a little bit about that path or whatever else God lays on his heart. So put your hands together for my brother Isaac. And yeah. My brother Isaac. Hey, uh, yeah, so, so my story, um, I, I grew up in church. Uh, I, had a, I had a good family. Um, and, uh, you know, I was raised, uh, my dad used to read me the Bible when I went to bed every night. Um, so I, I just grew up in, in that kind of environment. Um, and when I got to about into high school, I, um, I just, uh, I don't know, I, I thought that, I, I believed this lie that, that being a Christian was going to be boring if I just set my mind to doing that all my life, that it would somehow be like disappointing or something. And so this lie that the enemy put on me, and, and, uh, and I believed it at the time, and, and so I, I, I chased all the other things, everything that was, that, um, that I knew was wrong, that wasn't the, the path that I was supposed to be on. Um, and so I did, I've done, you know, almost every kind of drug there is, and, and uh, you know, I, I drank a ton. I mean, I, I, I probably drank about a, a fifth or more a night, um, and uh, just all, all the kinds of different things. Um, and I just ran from God for years and years. Uh, and, you know, God, he was, he was with me the whole time. I, I know there's a, you know, I should be dead uh, many times over. I, I about uh, ran my car off of mountains and, and, and somehow, like, like, I remember one instance, I was going like 60 down this, this mountain and, and, uh, and I flipped my car and I started rolling. And right at the edge of the cliff, my, my car stopped on its side, right before the cliff, you know. And uh, just all these different times, I was just wasted. And, and so all these times that God spared my life. And I, I, I look back on that, and I, I just realized that, that even though I was running from him, like with everything I had, I was just running and running from him. I, I wouldn't listen to him. I wouldn't hear what he had to say. I, 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 uh, I was just spitting in his face after all that I knew. And, and all that I knew that was right and the blessings that were just waiting for me. Uh, but God was chasing me down that whole time. And uh, finally, you know, I went through a sobriety court. It's, just, it's a lot like drug court and stuff and, and lost my license for seven years. I went through all that stuff. And, and uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of that stuff really broke me. I, I thought I had the, the world by the reins, you know, I could just do whatever I wanted and, and nothing could stop me. And then... And the law stopped me. Uh, they, they got me. Um, but, but God was God had a bigger plan, and uh, I had to do like 500 hours of community service, and and so I went down to this uh, this homeless shelter, and, and I knew the pastor there, and I, I didn't know I I wasn't following God. I didn't really have a relationship with God at the time, but it was just the the, the beginning of God drawing me back in, and. And so, and, and then later on, I, I just, uh, I had a, a church I'd go to, and um, I'd just come there every day, and nobody was there. I'd just start vacuuming. I'd just start cleaning. I'd do whatever I could just to be in the house of God. And through that, man, the, God got a hold of my heart and changed my life forever. And, uh, man, he, I, you know, I, I worked, in, I was working in a factory, and, and I was asking God, uh, what do you want me to do, God? You know, I was sober at this point, and uh, you know, but I didn't have any direction. And uh, you know, I said, God, what, what do you want me to do, God? I'm here, and I'm making decent money, and you know, I've got thousands of dollars in the bank and stuff, and, and like, I, you know, if my, my sister needed a new car, I just pay for it in cash for it and stuff. And I was like, God, you know, this is this is good, but this is I don't feel like this is what you have for me. And so, you know, He set me on this path. He told me to follow this guy, Bill Ballinger. And, I didn't even know this guy, you know, he's like, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to sell everything I have, I'm just going to follow him until the money runs out, you know, uh, but he had an internship, and so I joined that, that took me all over the country, where I met uh, Ron's daughter, and, and, and through that, through Ron, uh, Ron and, and God just set me on a path, you know, and um, man, I look back on all the years that, that I wasted, and, and it, it broke my heart for a long time, but, uh, but God said, you know, even through that, you know, you've wasted all these years, but I'm going to accelerate you, and I'm going to put you right on the path yeah. where you would have been the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it was so awesome that, that God restored those years, all that, that time that I had missed, that I thought I'd never get back, and God put me 
right there God, where God wanted me to be at that time in my life. And so, you know, I'm just so thankful today for, for everything he's done. And, and I look back and there's just so much that he's had his hand on me in, throughout my life and stuff. And, and it, it's just awesome. And, and being here with, with everyone here and, and all the guys in the house and stuff, I, you know, I, I can be a little bit introverted, but I love you all so much. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you you guys are what makes it worth it. At this point in my life, everything that I do, I do it for yeah. to see you guys succeed. Woo! You guys I love you. Like God did for me. And so I just want you guys to know that I love you all. It was that's all I got. <laughs> Bless the Lord.